हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू माई मेडिकल निमोनिक सीरीज टूडे आई हैव ए निमोनिक टू रिमेंबर क्रेप साइकिल और साइटिक एसिड साइकिल कंपाउंड्स एज यू नो इन द वेरी फर्स्ट स्टेप एस्टाइल कोइंजाइम ए कंबाइंड्स विथ ऑक्जेलो एसिडेट टू मेक सिट्रेट देन द नेक्स्ट प्रोडक्ट स्टेप बाई स्टेप आर आइसोसाइट्रेट और आइसोसिट्रेट अल्फा कीटोग्लूटरेट सक्सिनाइल कोइंजाइम ए सक्सिनेट फ्यूमरेट एंड मैलेट so here is the mnemonic for you or of course citrate is a silly stupid funny molecule so the very first word of the mnemonic represents the first letter of the compound so here o represents oxaloacetate citrate itself represents citrate and i for isocitrate a for alpha ketoglutarate s for succinyl coenzyme a uh then another is which means succinate a for fumarate and m for malet now let's calculate the atp production i hope you already know that one nadh molecule can produce 3 atp so how many nadh produce in one cycle okay it's 3 so total atp production is 3 into 3 9 here every number you can see every number is 3 the next is fadh2 which can produce 2 atp and only one fadh2 is produced in one cycle so total atp production is 2 now one gtp is produced which is equivalent to one atp so the total number of atp production is 9 plus 2 plus 1 it is 12 so one complete cycle produce 12 atp and two cycles produce 24 atp as we know that one glucose molecule break down into two pyruvate molecules which eventually goes into two separate krebs cycle so if they ask how many atp produced in krebs cycle then your answer should be 24 but if they ask how many atp produced in one krebs cycle then your answer should be 12 but wait this is an old concept actually the new concept is one nadh produce 2.5 atp so 3 nadh will produce 7.5 atp and one fadh2 uh, produce 1.5 atp and One GTP equal to one ATP. Finally, one cycle can produce ten ATP, and two cycle can produce twenty ATP. That's all, guys. Please subscribe for the more videos. Have a nice day.